welcome back to my film and TV channel. You're all staying safe and well. We've got a, a drama today, directed by Nora Fine Sheet or Sheet. Uh, yes, S C H E I D T. I don't know how you pronounce that. I've, I've dread to think another way of pronouncing it, but my apologies, Nora, on that one. This film is based on the 2016 memoir of the same name, and it's called The Outrun. This is by Amy Liptrop, and it is a co-production, the film, between the UK and Germany. And it stars Charisse Ronan, who also serves as a producer, along with Papa Papa Esidiu, Nabil Elubahabi, Zuka Hoyle, Lauren Lyle, Saskia Reeves, and Stephen Delane. But if you are, uh, before we talk about what it's about, as I say, it's a gritty, powerful one. Please, if you are new to the channel, uh, you can support the channel, of course, by subscribing. If you've not already done so, that'd be wonderful. Thank you very much. Press that bell notification. All these vlogs are coming out. We do have sponsors of the channel at the moment who help us out. Uh, our appreciation to Piat6505. They'll have a little eBay shop where they sell movie posters and uh, rare DVDs as well. So check out. It'll be in the comments below. Just follow that link. Onto the site of interest, most of the films from the 90s and 2000s, and DVDs are sort of classic Hollywood and classic uh, foreign language ones. So, check that out, guys. If you do fancy anything on there, uh, just mention me and get get 10% refund on the cost of the order as well. They do dispatch within 24 48 hours, and yeah, uh, they've got a 100% feedback rating on eBay. They've been on there 12 or 13 years, they've had other places they've sold as well. Uh, with no problems whatsoever, so I guarantee uh, that they will be reliable for you. So that's PX6505. My thanks to them. If you're interested in supporting this channel by sponsorship yourself, uh, I'll put my socials on at the end. So have a look at that. Of course, just by looking at the ads helps uh, if you watch the ads or follow the links, even that helps as well. Of course, quite simply, just give us a like. Uh, it's getting towards Halloween, so I've got a few Halloween. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, icons coming up they call icons uh, gifts whatever they call them so uh it'd be great to have you on board i support the channel and i do 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 uh, stuff on my football team manchester city as well so uh, please if you're any interest in, in football and manchester city particularly or you know someone who might be uh, give me a kick in my direction right on to the film what's it about it's about uh Rona, Rona, after living life on the edge in London, Rona attempts to come to terms with her troubled past. She returns to the wild beauty of Scotland's Orkney Islands. It's pretty wild most of the time, even in the summer, I would have thought, where she grew up, hoping to heal. Adapted from that best-selling memoir, of course, memoir, of course, uh, of course uh, the main character is an alcoholic in this, so obviously and it's got other other responsibilities as well that certainly don't help. This was released in the UK on the 27th of September and will reduced, uh, re be released in Germany on the 7th of November. So they co-financed co co it and they got to wait till the 7th of November. Shocking. I'm doing this review on the 8th of October 2024, guys, so all comments are at that, that date. Now, this is a film... I can't call it entertainment because it's not. It's a very serious subject. So sometimes don't mark these things, but I think this is worth giving a little mark to as well. Uh, it's got a non-linear style to it, which uh, sort of tinged my enjoyment just a little bit. But I can fully see the reasoning behind it. It was uh, it was logical to do this, but of course uh, for me, I just uh, I found it quite difficult to get in. I'm getting old. I'm getting old again. But but say the, the sort of flashbacks. Uh, it's just a matter of deciding which was the flashback and which was now. But uh, I got the hang of it eventually. And, of course, uh, it does help. I mean, Cherise Ronan is, is always very watchable. and She's absolutely brilliant in this. She plays a stunning role. Uh, if there are awards, then she certainly deserves something. Um, I say I won't deny this was hard work, though. I do appreciate the context and presentation of this serious subject. Uh, alcoholism and coping and trying to make yourself better and failing and trying again and uh, of course an individual, how an individual can cope and especially when they've got other reasons as well they've got people res that they're responsible for which is have got their own problems which makes it even worse of course so uh, it felt very real this for the most part it just felt very not not as a documentary but uh, it just felt real it just felt real life to me uh, you know, I could fully relate to what was going on. As I say, I can't say it's entertainment, but it is powerful stuff. So uh, I will rate it because it is a film. Uh, it's not. It's not a sort of docudrama about 
uh, about the subject. It's a, an attempted film based on the novel. So, yeah, I'm going to be fresh, of course, Rotten Tomatoes. I'm going to be positive on Metacritic. And I'm going to give this uh, a healthy, but not the highest by any means, 6.5 out of 10. I'll give this uh, very watchable, as I said, mainly due to the lead character. What are other people thinking? Well, Rotten Tomatoes, 7.4 out of 10. That's 125 critics. The website says, benefiting from Sharice Rowland's deeply committed performance in the central role, the outrun proves a moving portrait of addiction in spite of its somewhat shapeless narrative. Metacritic give it 73 out of 100, that's 38 critics, 31 were positive, 7 were mixed, but there's no negatives. The positives include RogerEbert.com who said, It's a gorgeous artefact, a cinematic experiment that works beautifully, one innovative frame at a time centred on Ronan's soaring and soul-restoring performance. The Guardian said, The Outrun is a rare two-hour movie that makes me forget to check the time, that it does so while avoiding the many clichés of the cinematic memoir adaptation. In its own achievement, a testament to the source material and Ronan's tremendous performance. And finally, total film on the positives. Nora Fingsheet, System Crasher, directs with a slow and steady... That's in brackets, so that must be what it means. Directs with a slow and steady hand, or stands for, I'm confused by that. Taking time to explore both Rona's moments of solitude and those in which she encounters others. A couple of so-so reviews. Empire Magazine said, although sometimes baggy and uncontrolled, the outrun is a sensitive, non-judgmental portrayal of addiction and mental illness, anchored by a typically transcendent performance from Sharice Ronan. And finally, another so-so, because there's no negatives to talk about on this one. The rap said, it's a bit muddled in execution yeah i go along with that but despite its faults the film is visually ambitious with things to say hidden under the surface so there you go yeah i've, I've sort of joined i joined on the wrap on that one but uh, perhaps a little bit higher score though rock tomatoes audience 65 percent 3.5 out of 5 that's adequate that's fine Internet Movie Day Space, over, over 1700 scores and reviews as i'm recording this on the 8th of october 2024 and it's getting a very healthy 7.3, so I'd say a little bit higher than me. So generally uh, appreciate it. I'd say it is a powerful film, guys. If you want to uh, have a, uh, you know, have a have a bit of fun, then it's not a film to watch. But you want a, you want a, a dark drama of that uh, has a very very true feel to it. I'd say it is based on on real life, of course, uh, and it's well worth a watch. Let me know what you think, guys. Anyway. My socials have been up on screen, as I say, if you're interested in uh, supporting me in any of the ways that I mentioned early on, that'd be fantastic. And uh, I hope to hear from you soon and let me know what you thought of this film or anything to do with film and TV. It's always great to chat with film and TV, isn't it? Thanks for watching. Until we meet again, I'll never ask one thing, don't I? Please stay safe, everyone. Bye for now.